This is one of the most popular tools on the face of the planet right now. It is so popular that I posted two short TikTok videos on this and combined they received around 7 million views and it's still climbing. But the weird thing about it is it's not really a tool, but it is made by Milwaukee IA. But what is it? You see my friends, a couple weeks ago I made a video when they first announced these and I sort of railed on Milwaukee IA a little bit. These are the new wireless Milwaukee IA, some people call them Milwaukee, Earbuds. Now, when they first announced these, I seen the price tag of $179 and I was like, what the hell are you talking about? Here's part of the video. You see, this is really nice. I am really excited about this. Or at least I was until I seen the price. I'm just gonna rip the, uh, the Band-Aid off right now, $180. All I can say is, for me, it seems pretty high. For $180, it just seems very high to me. Now, some people told me that, well, I was being too hard on a Milwaukee IA. They were saying that, you know, this comes with a bunch of features and that this is actually a good price at $179. Myself and a few others said, you cray cray Milwaukee IA, but I've been using and abusing, I've been testing these, and I'll be honest with you, I think I was wrong. I ain't too proud. You know me on this channel, I ain't like others, where I'll sit there and I'll say something and I just, continually say it even if I know it's wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I was wrong, dude. Let me explain why. When they first came out with these things, when they first announced them, the, the press release wasn't all that great. It just made it sound like these were just earbuds that you could play music through, and you can. But you can also do a lot more with these. You see, Milwaukee IA, they're a tool company, so a lot of people are using their products out on the work site, the job site, construction, HVAC, plumbing, whatever. So instead of just coming out with earbuds, there's other functions in here that are going to protect you on the job, which in return might let your boss say to himself, well, those are real nice, like go ahead and use them. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. You can see that they are lit up green. That'll go away when you take these out of the case and you put them in your ear holes. You see, my friends, if they're lit up green like this, that means that you have between 54% and 100% charge. If those were lit up yellow, that would mean that you're between six and 53% charge. And if they turn brown, which is a weird color, well, that means that you're going to have to charge because you got between zero and 5% charge. So how do you charge these up? Well, let me state something. A lot of people, when I brought this up, said, man, that case is really big. And it is, but there's a reason for that. See, on the top right here, you have a four volt bat ray that you're going to take out, pop it out like so. And then you can put a new one in if you wanted to. But if you didn't have another 4H bat ray and well, you just wanted to leave that one in here. Well, it also comes with a C port. Do you see that right there? Well, you plug your plug into the C port and it charges up and you also have a light. It'll tell you yellow, green, or a weird brown color. Now with the full charge on these, you can get up to 70 hours of runtime. If you were to take these out and just use them, you're looking at 10 hours of runtime. So again, the case will charge these once you put them back in, hence why they're turning green right there. Now I do wanna point out something about the case that others have pointed out. It's large, it's in charge. <laughs> Charging. Some people did not like the fact that it was so large. I sort of do because I lose my earbuds all the freaking time. It's also built real nice like, you know, Milwaukee Tools, they build their stuff really heavy grade. So I sort of like this larger case. And on the inside, well, check that out right there. Just in case you lose your instruction booklet, well, the instructions are right inside of the case. So let me put this in right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that in right there like that. Oh, oh yeah. I'm gonna put them in. I'm gonna glow in like a Christmas tree. On them, you can see there's a ear wing. You see that right there? Well, that allows it to hold in the ear a little bit better, like so. So it sort of like clamps in. Now, I will tell you a lot of people like the over the top style holder. I agree, I do like those as well. So I'm hoping that Milwaukee well, IA comes out with an accessory for these that you could just put this over the top of your ear because a lot of people say that these might not fit. I don't have any issues. I'm just saying other people had mentioned that. Now, when you buy these, you're gonna get a whole bunch of extra ear wings in case something happens to them. And speaking of different sizes for your ear, they will give you a bunch of these different protectors that go into the ear. They're like the soft foam. They're all different sizes. You got large, medium, small. So maybe that'll help you out a little bit. Now, what I was talking about is that this does many more things other than just playing audio, but let's talk about the audio first. These connected to my phone extremely fast, extremely easy. As soon as I take them out and put them in my ear, they reconnect automatically. As for the music, it's bassy, it sounds good, but my issue is it's not loud enough. If you are somebody that loves their music blaring in their ears, well, these are not for you. Even though they're bassy, they sound really, really good, they only go up to about 75 dB. When I put them in, and I'm a metalhead, that sound real nice like. 
Well, I want my ears to bleed. I want it loud. However, Milwaukee IA is not going to let this thing just go crazy loud because they're actually hearing protection as well. You see, these have a noise reduction rating of 22. But here's something you need to know about the noise reduction rating. If you're sitting there and you're working around a jet engine that's 200 dB, which that's not gonna be the case. That's crazy. I'm just trying to give you an example. If it's 200 dB and you put these in, this has a noise reduction rating of 22 that's not gonna bring it down to What's the math on that. One seven seven. That's not how a noise reduction rating works. What you have to do is take the 22, subtract seven, which brings you down to 15, and then divide that by two, which means this will reduce the noise decibel limit to 7.5 dB. So you just went from 200 down to 192.5 dB brain hurts. Let me give you one more example. OSHA, which I don't like them very much. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration states that if you are working around 85 dB out in the work site, well, your company has to have a noise hearing conservation program, meaning that they have to start getting ready to protect you because 90 dB is the legal limit that you're allowed to work. Meaning anything 90 dB and above, you have to have hearing protection. I know this is boring. I'm just stating that if you are working at something that's 90 dB, well, you can put these in and actually bring you down to 82 and a half dB, which in return makes you legal. It would just be easier to put 7.5 negative dB on this thing. I'm just saying, but the government's stupid. What else does this have though? Okay, so here's the one thing where a lot of people started stating that, okay, this might be worth the money. It has the active noise cancellation. Milwaukee IA is calling it the job site aware mode. So anybody that goes out and does the pew pew, you know what I'm saying? I can't say it on YouTube because they suck too. You probably know what I'm about to show you here, tell you here. If you were to put these in your ear, a lot of the times regular earphones, earbuds, whatever, they're just gonna cancel all the noise out around you. So if anybody's talking to you, you're not gonna be able to hear them. They're gonna sound muffled. But here's how these work. See that little microphone right there? Both of them have it. They both have a little microphone. So what happens is if I have these in my ear and say maybe I'm at the range or I'm at the construction site and there's heavy machinery or somebody's running a table saw, miter saw, whatever. If I push the left button right there one time, it'll turn those speakers on. If I then press this twice, in a row, it'll turn the volume up, hit it again, turns the volume up, turns the volume up, brings the volume back down. Now I'm actually able to hear somebody talking, it's picking up through the speaker, feeding it through my ear, but it's canceling out all the other noise in the background. Or it's very faint, you're not gonna be able to hear it and you're still protected. So you can have a conversation safely and not have to worry about blowing out your eardrums because you're over to 90 dB. But there's a couple other things that you need to know about this. If I wanted to listen to my Muzak from my telephone, I just hit this button once right here and my Muzak is playing. If I take this and press it once, it's gonna pause that Muzak. If I push this twice, it's going to fast forward to the next song or I should say it'll skip to the next song. If I hit it three times, one, two, three, it'll play the previous song. But what about telephone calls? If somebody's calling me, well, you push this button right here once and it'll answer. There's nothing better than a cheesesteak, cuz. You push it again, it'll hang up. If somebody's calling you, you press it twice and it'll cancel that call altogether, meaning it'll send it directly to voicemail. Now, to me, they actually feel very comfortable in my ear. You don't even notice they're there. They're there but they are. The sound quality is really good. I like the case that it's bigger. I don't have to worry about losing this thing. And it's built pretty real nice like, and you also got the bat ray in the back from the Milwaukee IA. Take that out. If you have another one, you don't feel like waiting for this thing to charge. Well, you just put a new one in there and then you're ready to go or you just get it ready to go. And yeah, funny today, ready to go because it's Milwaukee IA. Or you just charge up through that C port, you're ready to go. So where am I? Final thoughts on this. I wish they were louder, but I get why they're not. It's for safety and they're not gonna put a jamming out 90 dB type of 
audio in there if they're trying to protect you from that 90 dB. I know somebody's gonna be in the comments like, they don't make headphones that go to 90 dB. Okay, like 85 dB still. They're not gonna get anywhere close to it. And to be quite honest with you, I, I don't know if that's the case. I don't even know if they make 90 dB. I'm guessing they probably do. I don't know. They're Bluetooth, they're easy to connect. You got 100 feet between you and your phonage. I've been using these out there cutting my grass. I can hear things as I'm listening to my Muzak. Now what's nice about these also is that if I'm talking to somebody, I answer that, I can talk through these speakers. I don't even have to touch my phone. It can stay in my pocket and I'm just chatting. I was like, what's up, how you doing? And I've had people tell me that they sound better talking through these than my actual phone, which is weird. So yes, hands-free talking, if you're driving, whatever, you have one of these in your ear. And yeah, you can use one at a time. You don't have to have both of these playing in your ear at the same time you put one in there. You can use it as a telephone, pretty real nice. Life. So because of all of this, I mean, this really is innovative. They've done a lot of different things, including that noise, you know, reduction rating, they, they did a good job on these. And are they worth $179? Well, that's gonna be up to you, whether or not you decide to purchase these. Me personally, with all this stuff now, even though I blast them because I thought it was just for the music, this is definitely worth the 170 for me because now you're paying even more money for your iPods or your Samsung, whatever they are, and you're really not getting any of this. So I think it's very cool. I think they did a very good job, but I wanna know what you think. Leave me that sweet, sweet comment next, sweet, sweet comment section. Is this something that you're planning on getting? And if you are, I'll leave a link in the description below. You can check it out. Or is it still too much for you? If you wanna see more of these, get subscribed, hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on cool things like this. Speaking of cool things, I got a couple more videos for you right there. Make sure I like button. We'll be back more videos soon.